Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for this week's Pick a Card Weekly Tarot Reading. Now it's for the week commencing 14th of February 2022 but if you are watching this at a later time don't get caught up in the date. You'll know if it's right for you or not because you'll feel it in your body. Trust your own intuition because everybody does have it okay so your body tells you the truth. Alrighty uh, if you're new please subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now. Now let's go to the main board and uh, see what these cards have to say for this week now you pick a number between one and five and i'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you okay have you got your number i've got mine let's rock and roll we're doing card number one now uh, there's one back here okay we'll take that one closing my eyes for card number one if you've picked this I see water and I'm reminded of um, two signs the first one that come was Aquarius you know the wiggly lines the wiggly water lines Aquarius is an air sign uh, but if you see the glyph it's actually um, a person holding a jar and the water is in the jar so Aquarius is known as the water bearer and this means the ability to carry emotion okay and so uh, Pisces is the next one I see uh, which is a water sign and uh, is the two fishes the glyph and so that's all about water as well so this suggests to me that if you've picked card number one it could be quite an emotional week but if you can hold that emotion within, you can transform it. I'm not asking you to push those emotions down into your body and not acknowledge them and not feel them. I'm just saying feel them and sit with them at the same time. Be careful how you vent them out into the world. The card that comes up is the Ten of Cups. Uh, this is all about uh, support, protection, uh, being at home, uh, half and home is very important the inner child look at the rocking horse uh, here the inner child within needs attention maybe you've been really busy uh, you know getting distracted in your you know whatever you do the outside world with children with partners work maybe if you work and you haven't spent enough time uh, feeling your own feelings this card suggests that there's a very supportive energy, like a mothering energy that's coming along to help you. This could be in the outside world where somebody like a confidant or a close friend uh, gives you support, or alternatively, you can find it in yourself. It's the Ten of Cups. It brings happiness, uh, actually, when you sit with your emotions and you, and you let them pass through, through you rather than trying to hold on to them go with the flow of the energy happiness comes okay so it's a very beneficial uh, card because it's a 10 it's coming to the end of a cycle and a new cycle is about to begin all right let's look at card number two now card number two i'm getting uh, something about money uh, it could be on your mind i get the word agenda oh on your agenda okay money is on your agenda okay um green doors opening up green is always good for money uh, the color green is associated with making money because of the u.s green back it used to be called i don't know what they call it now <laughs> uh it's not that green it's sort of gray gray sort of color um and uh what else do i see around number two yeah i can see some steps that means going up in the world if you take action the card that comes up is directly related to your money your possessions uh maybe the things that you value uh my chickens are going crazy you know they have uh, uh coop wars out there because there's six six coops where they can or six roosts where they can lay their eggs but they all want to lay their eggs in the one roost at the same time and they need to be patient just like this card here it's like you've planted the seeds they are growing but you're getting impatient regarding your finances perhaps look it takes time rome wasn't built in a day and all of that stuff 
you can tend to what you need to tend to action needs to be taken but in the end they're going to grow and your money is going to grow at the rate at which it's going to grow and so don't sort of once you've fixed it don't go back and tweak it too much uh, or you could do some harm you know or slow things down so just be patient uh, if you've done your research done everything you have needed to do invested you know wisely just be patient all right let's look at card number three card number three mm, i'm gonna go with that one closing my eyes yeah i'm still focused on here i'm focused on this shovel uh shovels are about you know digging a hole for something uh this in this case it's to plant seeds and you know a very beneficial growthful sort of activity sometimes shovels are about digging holes to bury something because it's finished with it could be something has died and you haven't had the funeral yet for example and and it's suggesting that yes it's over uh, but you still got these little tendrils that you perhaps haven't cut off or you haven't you haven't buried the card that comes up is the ace of swords this means that there's a new cycle beginning okay and um, you're about to move forward the butterflies are all about new life they go through you know the cocoon stage they're like a chrysalis in a cocoon it takes time you have to be patient and then the new life develops at its own rate there's some challenges with a new idea because of the mountains here in the background but always no matter what we do we've got to put something into it you know we just literally um even if you win the lottery you still have to buy the ticket you know there's still some sort of investment there and so spirit is handing you the ability to make a decision this week to start off on a new venture of some kind okay a new project some new ideas coming to you card number four card number four okay let's see what comes out all right um goes in my eyes what do i see um yeah it's a bit dark uh here i feel a sense of hibernation in australia we're nearly finished uh summer and soon it'll be autumn or the fall uh, and if you're in the states or in the northern hemisphere uh, it's the reverse instead of going into fall you're going into spring and so new life comes to you but whichever hemisphere you're in i feel like it's time to be alone a bit more uh, and not get sidetracked by the distractions of the outside world this has been a bit of a theme lately i have been saying this a fair bit across different platforms uh, you need time for privacy you need time to really examine your feeling i see big buckets of gold gold as i'm saying this you know it's almost like there's hidden uh, secrets hi hidden treasures there to find if you can spend time alone well here you go <laughs> the hermit card uh, exactly what i just said uh, you are the light and you need to um, you need to put that light out into the world at some point but at the moment just focus on what you need to do for you there's a there's a wolf here which can indicate teaching at some time down the track uh, you might be going through this learning stage now so that some time down the track you can in fact teach other people what they need to do it's a major arcana and it's a very significant time if you've picked card number four okay five is alive let's see uh, what comes up five is alive okay mm, go with that one uh, the color is cream cream is not a color i normally get or a color i normally go for we've got the white of spirit with a little bit of yellow uh, from the solar plexus added in yellow is about achievement uh, taking action goal oriented planning strategizing working on a project getting somewhere you know accomplishment step by step it's very sort of um, capricornian in the sense of going this step by step steady progress but you know sometimes that can feel a bit 
sort of boring and so you might need a little bit of a boost so that there's a bit more excitement in your life the card that comes up is the six of cups which indicates there's some happiness coming all of these flowers in different cups or different areas of your life and so they're flowering and and something's going to come of it that's going to be beautiful a decision needs to be made sometimes you might be swinging on a decision but the answer will come to you a lot of green and so a lot of growth and opportunity uh, for many the family will be in the background there maybe adding um, lending support in fact uh, so this is a very positive card it speaks to abundance and and feelings of joy that just sort of come up spontaneously it's not even so much about achievement uh, it's about just feeling the joy of living for no reason okay so that's our cards for this week we've only got one major arcana so it's more or less a you know a normal everyday sort of week if that makes sense uh, nothing sort of overly significant be patient spend time on your own and enjoy the fruits uh, of you know your labor enjoy enjoy the emotions that come up because there is some hidden happiness deep down uh, within okay i'm just going to close my eyes now and see if there's uh, anything else that i need to tell you for this week uh, the 14th of february 2022 what am i seeing Hmm. okay uh different doors opening here some have got some open up and then they've got like a chain or a block uh and so it does seem to be some sort of energy about uh you deciding which door you're going to open there could be too many opportunities or not enough time to do everything now they're showing me some rings on a woman's hand diamond rings across these fingers here uh diamonds of course come from heat and pressure and this is a stress and tension that we've all been under over the last few years there's something spiritually very significant something very valuable uh, that has formed and uh, spiritually you know even though things might not be great in the outside world spiritually we are certainly evolving okay uh, anything else a candle um, they're showing me silver candles now candles for hope uh, and so light a candle especially for those people uh, who are suffering this year you know is a bit of a mixed bag astrologically there are some very positive influences coming in and so there are signs of hope uh, finally starting to emerge but there's also people still suffering and uh, you know it'll be a good idea to send your prayers and your healing uh, to anyone that you know and to society generally uh, that you know is suffering it, you know dealing with all these changes these transitions that we're going through it's not easy okay so that's it for this week i uh, hope it's helpful uh, leave a like or a comment or share on your socials that would be fabulous and if you are new please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell right now okay have a fabulous week everyone i'll see you all again soon uh, i'm up to leo in the march horoscopes that will be coming up very uh, shortly okay thanks bye for now thanks so much for watching please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual have a lovely day